Hey, Corey, Paul Houston, Podcasting 101. My impression of the Fizz, it, I mean, it's awesome in one aspect because it takes and it shows people that have never seen um, YouTube or seen a podcast or aren't using a podcatcher like um, Democracy or Fire Ant or uh, uh, what's the other one called? Instant Media. And those are just the, the few that I've looked at that pull down RSS feeds and automatically uh, download your content, unlike YouTube, which you have to search for, and which is half of the uh, the beauty of YouTube is the social interaction and the social networking site, like uh, MySpace, YouTube, or Second Life, of course. Um, so you lose a lot of that social interaction on the TV with the fizz, but it does bring new people into it. So what I love about it is you're educating the world out there that there's a whole different world than TV. And when I was at uh, podcast, uh, I mean, uh, Podtech's blog house at CES, I met a guy who called himself The Enemy, and he's an old media guy that uh, in, in, in the advertising end of the realm, and he was telling me about the uh, specs, the, uh, the ratings, when like the Beverly Hillbillies were on. We only had NBC, ABC, CBS. And today, with American Idol, what we're looking at, and then you couple that, you, know, you couple the, the problem with TiVo, and other DVRs out there that take and, um, you know, people just scan through the commercials. So even though I've got Direct TV, and I do find myself watching TV on occasion when I just can't sit in front of the computer anymore, and you know, I've I've had my daily digest of wonderful podcasts out there, whether they're on Podtech's site or on Pod Shows or on YouTube or anybody else. I'm constantly looking for the best of the best. Um, anyway, the. I thought the show. I think the show's awesome. It's got a lot of potential. I like your theme of um, getting other people to then comment back on it. Um, I don't know if is it only five minutes. I mean, it needs to be a lot longer if you're going to show enough to really get me interested in a couch potato. It's nice to be. But the the one thing I really liked over and above that was just you should introduce me to a lot of new channels that I've never uh, run across yet. So. It's really nice to just sit back, be a couch potato, and get a rundown. And here's the best and the best and why. But unfortunately, uh, like with Caitlin and um, uh, which your your video was awesome, girls. They're uh, playing pa Pavarazzi there, looking through the window. <laughs> anyway, um, that was a lot of fun. But I've seen a lot of her videos, and I know what her channel's about. So it, it gets to kind of be a challenge to have a short show, and then have. Um, these people, I mean, just have these little clips that you're trying to edit together with your with the content because it's not really showing who they are and what their channel's about. Um, on some of the uh, pod show sites, I think it was Kate uh, Cat's Cast. She says promos, promos, promos. You know, so hey, everybody, put together a 10-second promo and toss those maybe into the show. That uh, really kind of shows a little bit more of what that uh, person theme is because I mean let's face it here on YouTube we've got people that do have a theme and you really are podcasters and there really there is an RSS feed here on YouTube a lot of you may not know about it but you can post your your RSS feed up on your uh, website and it will suck your YouTube videos down directly into democracy or whatever podcast you use which uh, by the way I saw at uh, uh, CES the uh, what is it sling boxes uh, new product they call it sling catcher and, um, you know, that and a few other set-top boxes I was able to find there at uh, CS. But we're going to see more and more of that to where you just subscribe to your channels and the content comes down and you can still be a couch potato and enjoy your favorite YouTube channels and so on. I have a friend, um, I mentioned him in yesterday's episode, uh, called him uh, Mattress Mike. And we'll see if he sticks with that handle because he actually is in the mattress business. And here in Houston, we've got a guy called Mattress Mike, uh, Mac, and he's always running these crazy kind of insane uh, commercials but um, anyway we'll see where where we go with that but um, anyway that's my thoughts on uh, on the fizz I really enjoyed it and uh, hopefully I can figure out how to get my TiVo fired up and actually find it and subscribe to it haven't gotten around to that yet I've been watching them just here on YouTube anyway hope I hope uh, you can uh, join me Corey or um, or any other youtubers out there I uh, at the different uh, meetups that I'm planning here in April through May. I um, forget where all I'm even going here. Starting off in Miami and then Kingsworth, Bermuda, and then Portugal, uh, Ireland, and Paris, then ending up in London. So if 
you live in any of those towns, let me know, and uh, let's plan a meetup and see how many YouTubers and podcasters we can get together and throw a great party. And if we get enough fans that want to hear people speak, maybe we can get some conference rooms and uh, um, get some panels together and uh, really turn it into the show of shows. Anyway, thanks. Bye.